Horses are coming onto the track for DuCoin's 11th race and elimination of the Governor's Cup for Illinois bred two year old Pacers. The top five will come back for Saturday's $100,000 final. The top five in the official order of finish. No scratches here in race 11. Tim Tietrich drives the one Nifty Illusion, and Anthony Morgan drives the one A Resonate. Let's meet the starters for race 11 at DuCoin. Number one, Nifty Illusion, owned by Brian Penske's table of Illinois, of owner Brandy Penske, by Jerry Silva of North Belmore, New York, by the Samson Street Stable of Old Forge, Pennsylvania, and by Tim Penske's Penske Stable of Plato, Minnesota, trained by Tim Penske, Tim Tetrick in the bike. 1A is Resonate, owned by Hunt Harness Horses Incorporated of Big Rock, Illinois, by Tim Town of Mundelein, Brian Penske's Stable, and by Penske Stable, trained by Tim Penske, Anthony Morgan driving. Two is ML's Boy, owned by John Carver of Rock Island, Ron and Dee Phillips of Petersburg, trained by Mike Rogers. The driver is Ron Marsh. Number three, Swift Sport, is owned by MJGB, Racing Stables Incorporated of Suffern, New York, trained by David McCaffrey of Burr Ridge, Illinois. The driver is Andy Miller. Number four, Prince Vince, is owned by Perry Smith and Whack the Bush Stable and by First Class Racing, the last named of Clio, Michigan, trained by Perry Smith of Crete. The driver is Del Chupp. Number five is Wolf Creek Willie, owned by George and Rose Bonomo of Chicago and Naperville, trained by Rick Schrock, the driver Dave McGee. Number six is Kenan's Bo Dooley, owned by Ken Spurlock of Cedar Lake, Indiana, by Nancy Bowman of Cedar Lake, Indiana, trained by Joel Smith, the driver Louisville, Kentucky's Jason Dillinger. Number seven, Farb, owned by Forrest and Kenny Shoemaker and by John Nessa of Altamont, trained by John Nessa, Michael Osting in the bike. Number eight is Chevy Winner, owned by Clyde Stevens of LaCenter, Kentucky, trained by Ronnie Guy. The driver is Dale Heitman. And number nine, Tubby, owned by Ann Phillips of Stevenson, Alabama, trained by Mike Arnold. Patrick Berry is in the bike. This Governor's Cup elimination is due at the starting gate in less than five minutes. Here they come, eighth of a mile from the start. They are off and pacing. There goes Chevy Winter with early speed. Also Resonate and ML's Boy is faster than all of them through the opening eighth of a mile. ML's Boy just boils up the inside to get the lead a length and a half. Swift Sport will go second. Resonate is parked third. Prince Vince moves up one spot to his inside. Nifty Illusion ducks over against the rail in fifth. He's five lengths off the lead, followed by Wolf Creek Willie in sixth. Chevy Winter is seventh. Kenan's Bo Dooley is eighth. Farb is ninth. And Tubby is tenth and last. 27 and four for the opening quarter mile. It is ML's Boy who is on the lead. ML's Boy leads it by a length and a half, followed by Swift Sport in second. And then Prince Vince in third, a gap of two to resonate. Nifty Illusion moves up on the outside of the other part of the entry, followed by Wolf Creek Willie, who's five lengths off the lead and also on the outer flow of traffic. Nifty Illusion moves up now into third as they approach the half, but ML's Boy continues to show the way by just over a length. Swift Sport is second, Nifty Illusion third on the outside, the half in 57 and one as they enter the final turn. Then Prince Vince inside of Wolf Creek Willie, followed around the far turn by Kenan's Bo Dooley, who now drops back a couple of spots and switches lanes toward the outside, moving up behind Chevy Winter as they approach the three-quarter, resonate to their inside. They're being led by ML's Boy by two lengths. Swift Sport second by a length. Nifty Illusion is third and lingering on the outside. Off three-quarters and 124 and three. ML's Boy leads it by two lengths. Swift Sport second a length and a half. Then Nifty Illusion, Wolf Creek Willie is up on the far outside. Wolf Creek Willie in the center of the racetrack. They've got to get ML's boy. ML's boy is chased through the stretch by Swift Sport as they move by the 16th pole. ML's boy is hanging tough. Swift Sport is right there, and Prince Vince with a late rush. ML's boy hangs on to win it as close for second. Either Swift Sport or Prince Vince for place in 152 and 3. M.L.'s Boy is a two-year-old Gelden son of Sportsmaster, bred by John Carver, co-owned by Carver of Rock Island, and Ron and Dee Phillips of Petersburg. Ron Phillips, the retired former sheriff of Menard County, not far from Springfield, 
and Mike Rogers of Loamby, Illinois, reaches a milestone. First time that Mike has ever trained a winner of a Governor's Cup elimination heat. Ron Marsh with the winning drive, folks. How about a hand for ML's boy? Result is official. Try to talk to winning driver Ron Marsh. Let's talk to Ron Marsh real quickly. Mike, congratulations. 23 years of age out of Loamy, Illinois. And let's talk to the man out of Findlay, Ohio, originally, Ron Marsh. Ron, this Colt seems to like the front end. That's right where you put him. It looked like you drove him with a lot of confidence here tonight. I did the way he raced uh, last week at Springfield. He went a real big heat there. I, I believe if I could have stayed on the front there, we, he'd have been uh, something a uh, big factor. Uh, the, the Colt to beat me, obviously, was a good Colt. He won 50. This Colt pacing 51. I knew we'd come right back to it again tonight. Uh, didn't really want to show him off too much because that's just elimination is we want to save a little for for, for the uh, you know for the final but uh, we had to get it done you know and, and that's uh, he, he raced really good Ron the last time you were at DuCoin they did not have lights around this racetrack how does it feel to be back and how about night racing at DuCoin it's nice yeah the lights are good uh, well lit uh, uh, DuCoin's always been fun you know years ago I used to come down here with my dad with during the Hamiltonian when when he was here so it's, uh, you know, it's, it's been in the family for a long time, and I've been, I really enjoy racing here. Ron's father, of course, the great Joe Marsh Jr., also originally out of Ohio. Folks, first time Ron's been here since 1995. How about a big Southern Illinois welcome back for Mr. Ron Marsh.